wherever in this world I roam. Okay, let's continue. Time to go. Here, come on, let's find a place to sit and grab a bite. Oh, she's still. Hey there, Azeric. Jet, it's been a while. Uh, hardly that long. Good to see that you're all well. Jet's really fond of you. We were just talking about you, in fact. Uh, what did you talk about? Is Jet so angry? Uh, angry? Oh, she did mention a little disagreement you had, yes. I don't know, she talks quite carelessly, but isn't actually good at expressing her feelings. But still, you should reflect as well. Jet's very concerned about your safety, so you should pay a bit more attention to her suggestions. Sorry, it was my mistake for leaving her out. Sorry, it was my fault, really. I was petty, childish. I knew how important Lilopar was to our mission, but I threw a tantrum anyway. Lilopar says stuff really, and she does use some pretty creepy analogies. But she looked out for us the whole way. So, well, she's different from the people we've met so far for sure. She doesn't seem like a bad person. She doesn't seem like a good person either. Mm, whatever the case, you'll be fine. He's important to you, isn't he, Jet? Of course, you're my best friends. Ish, you're so serious all of a sudden. Everyone doesn't know what to say at all. <clears throat> uh, there's no need to be so awkward. I won't get mad anyhow from now on. Uh, and you can count on that. That's right, that's spirit. Alright, about the mother of the gene. Is it with you? Yeah. Azari, oh, didn't my trash pebble tell you not to ask the willy nilly? Uh, it's fine, Judge. I mean, I got it you half the way, so I count as a companion, don't I? Companion, you say? Perhaps you speak too fastly. Uh, the bottle's talking. And the fact that the bottle was floating around me so far wasn't important. Such insolence. If you recognize me not, then your silence shall serve better. Oh, this is a pretty fierce one for sure. Is that the mother of the gene then? I'd watch my tongue if I were you, Desert Spawn. This is Azaric, one of my brothers here in the tribe. Well, we could have chosen worse. This one is sturdy enough. A shame that he has too big a mouth and too small a brain. Uh, how is talking to her supposed to not end as an exercise in frustration? Uh, reckon you just need to get used to it. I feel for you. Uh, you know, Jet, you did find Bambin pretty cute, didn't you? How about you just treat her like a Bambin that talks? They both fly, don't they? Well, Paimon flies too. They talks too. Oh, it's fine. Sharp tongues are to be expected of the legendary genie. Somewhat, I mean. Whatever the case, she's on our side, isn't she? We'll be fine. On your side? Did I mishear you? Apologies, but you shall not find me on the side of those 
who intrigued my master while wearing two faces. What? Is he betraying us too? My master trusts you, and I trust his reasoning for that. But I will be watching you, Azarik. Uh, well, I guess that's just a jeans, what a jeans like. It's funny. Alright, did anything happen while we were separated? Just curious, I mean. Same here, did I miss anything? Well, about that. You tell Jatin Azarik about the ambush in Kenya, you tell others, blah blah blah. So, a traitor, along with accomplices from other tribes. They might be the same bunch I was tracking down previously. It's even possible that they are collaborating with dangerous outsiders like the Fatui. Hmm? Uh, pretty good. Chat made the best of some rather limited information on our foes there. That's not too hard. I've been helping the Macharch to track and eliminate traitors. So their movements and patterns aren't that heavy to me. Uh, my dad and I have also encountered this, those people who call themselves Fatui in the past, so they are no strangers to me either. Still, I run off in a huff without giving any thought to whether they would act. I'm sorry, that was my mistake. Now let's leave that aside for now, it wasn't even your fault. I'm with Paimon, don't beat yourself up about this too much yet. They seem to have been ordered specifically not to attack you. Can't blame you for having lowered your guard there. But as for Adderf, he, he, since he's fled in secret, it's beyond doubt that he's betrayed us. Those who violate laws of hospitality uh, and wield their blades against guests are unworthy of the tenant's mercy. I'll capture him, this I promise. He will not escape the matriarch's judgment. Jet's getting serious. What a mix, <laughs> like I've never been serious. Uh, becoming even more the model of a traps woman and Jet. What are you talking about? Aren't I one? That's not what I mean. I'm just glad to see that you're so concerned about your friends. This is also a tribal matter, you know? True, outsiders are becoming increasingly active in the desert. And as their interference increases, so too do changes of heart and thought. As Metroid Babel's right and left hands, we should indeed be concerned about such things. Exactly. Alright, there's one more thing. It's when it's season at the moment. So, the tunnels they dig are starting to show up all around the desert. Such areas are very dangerous, so we will have to approach our, our adventure with more care to avoid them at all costs. Wait, just win it? Don't we always hunt them? They are no threat. There's still no reason to drop your guard. Sure, sure, you got it. What's a win it? Oh, them, we hunt them every year. Every year? It's, it hasn't been more than a year that we've met her. And it, had, and it hasn't been more than a year that she's been here. And then we collect their body fat and use that to make spices. We don't produce much, but it can be sold at a pretty price. So we don't really lack anything. We just need to control the Wendat hunting grounds, and our long-term prospects will stay good. Whoever controls Doom controls the universe. And city folk love these thinking pungent spices, but ask them about us desert folk, and they'll tell you a different story. Uh, we also need to hunt other animals, but the smell Wendat give off is too strong and we'll chase them off. As such, our spice workers can't take part in hunts, nor can they serve as assassins. As opposed to the scent of mature wenet, their larvae uh, give off a much gentler scent, which we often use 
for the Saint Marks to prevent getting lost in caves in the ruins. Oh, you use that in the Gurabad ruins back there. But are they really that dangerous? Not really. For are you outsiders, perhaps? Okay, so for our citizens. Uh, but you needn't worry about that. We'll protect you. Oh, what's so funny? It's nothing. Uh, the children of Apep reduced to this. Not that you mention it, you haven't said anything in quite a while, did you, Lupar? And I, for my part, was about to ask if you'd forgotten about someone. Well then, you'd like to hear a story? Uh, sure, as long as you have one to tell, anyway. It is a shame how long I've slumbered. I fear I am not current in with the hot topics of the day, and am armed only with some ancient yarks. Will you, will you mind, oh master of mine? Don't worry, I'm all ears. Don't worry, I've covered my ears. And Paimon's covers. Wait a minute, what are you covering your ears for? The book says the words of the Jin have magic in them, and that their stories have the power to lay curses. And they say also that behavior such as yours is impolite in the extreme. Do not interrupt me, little lady. Now, where should I begin? As the moonlight paints the stone white. Oh, come on! There was, there wasn't time to read one line of those three or four. Thousands of years have passed since the veins told off in this tale. The desert had yet to become so desolate, and the oasis spread out across the land like glittering jewels. In those days, the jinn walked the earth in great numbers, and they li and they lived within the silver night wind and the flowing sands, in the ripples of the unknowable ocean, and in the patterning pattering of the rainforest springs. We Jin were not ordinary creatures, but we were the servants of the mistress of flowers. That's Roca de Vata? It wasn't Roca de Vata, I don't know, maybe not. We were untro untroubled by basic want, nor were we shackled by material thirst. It was life itself that greatly fascinated us. The blooming and wilting of flowers, the gathering and scattering of birds, these were the things that held us in trouble. Apart from that, only our true names could bind us. We were carefree so long as our mistress walked the earth, and we enjoyed her eternal paradise, her love and her comfort. But tragedy would come, and our paradise crumbled as the mistress departed. Our reverie turned to mourning, and all that was good and lovely was violently, violently perverted in that anguish. And so we gave Olamar our true names, and become, became his servants. For he promised to find us our eternal companion, our true master. Deluded hope and trust did we harbor in our hearts, and so forsook our freedom, except imprisonment within silver bottles and servitude to his realm. But what was lost was forever lost, never again to return. But nothing that the djinn were white on servants. Only a love bordering upon madness could make the djinn give their true names willingly. For it was their deep love for the mistress of flowers that drove them to embrace the desert from the first. Yet walking to face the tomfoolery of this barren world caused by a surly genie to fall incredible in love with the shepherd. Ah, oh, you're awake, a shepherd. Not you, no. Uh, but much like you, my master. You were much like him as he was once. Mm. Well now, girl, does that make you jealous? No, it's just that I find this story quite familiar. Then, it's because this story has happened before. 
Hey, wait, yeah, it's happening again. Hmm. To the gene, love is a terrible chain, driving those who fell into its pit to make sacrifices, like a if a, a of a parasitic insect. Oh boy, no those bars and eat again with the scary analogies. We gene do not have the mysterious things you humans call shame. So we do not shy away from discussing love or revealing once or two all over. But to the gene, this mad love could not be reconciled or to betrayal. Or else hatred and vengeance three times greater would be sure to follow. That was the root of the farce that ended Gorobat. So that was that is a different tale. Actually now that you mention it, I'd like to ask a question. Did you really have no other goal in presenting your true name? Uh, well, I suppose visualize is wisdom. Well, I do have something I seek. I wish to go to the eternal oasis just as you do. There are things there that have been left unfinished. And what would those be? Forgive me, dear master, if I can only slowly tell you the tale as our journey proceeds. But the time for that has not yet come. But know this. It is a good fortune that I should have met you. Well, since we've got some the same goal, let's get along. How about a toast? What shall you make this toast with? Me? Alright, weird story time is over. Let's talk about something more relaxing. Let's just go away. By the way, Ignus, do you play cards? Oh, we're gonna play cards here. He does. Uh, it's hard not the multiplayer cards. Okay, how did you know? Because I wanted to see it. Alright, great. Now, show me what you got. Uh, I don't even know what I have here, but okay. I don't really remember. <sighs> the insolent shall be punished. He just automatically gets it. Okay, and face. Can't 
I await your instruction. My apologies! <clears throat> Fernand is a donor, it's laudable that our men are still up to them. This body belongs to ice and snow. Let me close shoulders in. No, I'm done. That's good, whatever. Let's return. Okay, I think you can see that. Hitting cards. <laughs> no, let's use that. Kami Sajalat! Sumetsu! My duty! The night flies by me, scars game shots, and this morning you are buried in each other's pillows. As lit by the extinguished flame. In this moment, how to sleep? Not bad, thanks for asking. Not great, I kept thinking about cards every time I closed my eyes. Not bad. Now, where did Lopar have to use all those strange metaphors about bugs and scorpions? Took Paimo half a night to get them out of her head. Uh, glad you guys got some rest. I sure didn't. Why? Uh, I, who asked you to get up in the middle of the night and go fight with my church babel? Uh, wrong way around. She came to fight me. What did my church babel want from you? Uh, it was an urgent thing. Some matters concerning the elders of the tribe, you know? Uh, I see we have happened upon some open secret. Mm. My church Babel spoke briefly with me last night. We, what we must do next is use the tunnels in the dunes to enter the underground portions of the eternal oasis. Indeed, my master, Al Amar, once created a most intricate system of canals, shaped to promise irrigation for the soil of the mortal kingdoms. Before the dune was encased in sandstorms, before Awamar was not but dust, the space rolled with hills most fecund in burdens. But those canals have long run dry. Fortunately, uh, that links them to our purposes quite well, allowing entry to the foundations of the oasis within the dunes. So, my church Babel has finally made her decision. It's because Ignis reclaimed the genie. She can serve as our guide. Moreover, my tongue's as clever as that of a mockingbird's. 
but you should know that by now. I indeed witnessed this occurrence, my master, but I thought there was little need to go into detail about it with you. Alright, let's go and discuss the rest of the details with my trash paper. Let's just go. Time to go. You arrived, Linus. I hope that our hospitality hasn't disappointed you. Uh, Jet, while you're here, I shall entrust the great task of operating the trader Adelphi to you. I suspect that the recent spike in traders within the tribe has something to do with the interference of those who hail from the snowlands. Hmm. You mean the Fatui? The Fatui, their influence spreads even here? They're just like those toads or centipedes that Lopar keeps talking about. We keep running into them everywhere we go. Initially, they approached our merchants under the banner of trade. Then, before long, they started meddling in our affairs. Annoying as it is, the forces behind them are indeed powerful. Prior to the present, we had already pushed the northerners out of our territory forbidding them from appearing on our hunting grounds to prevent them from further harming our people. Yet, they continue to circle us in the desert like hyenas. I don't know if they seek treasure or an alliance from us. Regardless, they are dangerous. I got it. I'll return with additional information or a newly claimed life. And... Information and a new claim life. Oh, I understand. Uh, however, the Fatui are not the most important segment of today's conversation. Ignus, the task I made of you today, I believe that Azarik has already gone over the broad strokes with you. Indeed, my trash babel. Good, but I must warn you still that the path ahead is fraught with dangers. Our scouts have discovered signs that many Wendut uh, may be active in the area. Be at ease, I will guide them down a safe path. About the Wendut. Wendut are extremely dangerous creatures. Approach them with caution. They may attack you upon being drawn by the genie's presence. Speak, speak not of me as if I am some manner of calamity, Desert Witch. My master, I will be alert on your behalf. If you come under assault by this why not? Why not? Uh, I may yet be able to rally my strength and defend you. I've got her back too. Oh, suddenly we've got two handy sidekicks. Uh, Steam Lilopar, after entering the foundation of the Eternal Oasis, we must rely on your power to guide the group. The ruins of the canals may yet hide your fragments. Indeed, of this I am aware, but I am curious as to how this knowledge came unto you. You learned this from outsiders, did you not? The Fatu? No, we're not. Robbing a few uh, book researchers, parting a merchant camp with the maps they have brought with them. These are tricks of an old trade for the desert dweller. I understand. Uh, thank you for granting me this boon of knowledge. I shall yet lead. It shall yet lead me to old memories, empower both. But I will be watching you and that land of yours. Lupar, what's wrong with you? My trash baby only organized this expedition to ensure that I can lay my parents to rest. How can you just slander her like this? Yet. My apologies, Steam Lupar. I understand your misgivings. I will endeavor to win your trust. 
do Brasil, a Seek Respite. Uh, very well, do not let me forestall your departure. Leave as soon as you are able. Okay, let's go. Uh, apologies, our business has been distracted. Was there something needed? About the triggers. Uh, we have let an outsider see the troubles of our traitors have caused us. Uh, how shameful. But we're not. With Jet, uh, Jet said, a threat will soon be delivered to unto rightful justice. Is there a truly traitor? Uh, he has already stained the tennis name. This means that he has cast aside the name of his mother. He uh, must be punished. As with nations of the cities, tribes too must enforce their laws. I think you understand this. Traitors. I'm just concerned that there isn't enough evidence. Well, you are of the city folk. It is unsurprising that you worry about matters such as evidence and suspicions. This is understand. Before I studied, he has already seen the name of the tribe with its dishonor. Forgotten the name of his mother, punishment must be driven onto him. Now Jet. Jet, she's a good challenge. She learns our ways quickly and greets trouble with neither grimace nor complaints. Uh, speaking of her, it's a shame that there was an incident between us and her father in years prior. But I'm just glad that Jet has returned to us. For her father, uh, I suppose we can consider this delay a delayed resolution. She likes you, you know, I can tell. So please don't disappoint her and ruin the friendship you have. Well, Azarik, he's my son. Though not born of my flesh, I trust him very much. Clever, loyal, strong, ethically unbending, and skilled in gaining favor with others. Like a loyal wolf to the pack, he has never failed me. Uh, but the genie seems suspicious of him. Uh, it is a shame that he is male. Uh, if he was a woman, he could take my place. Uh, that way, I could finally retire and lead the children in managing our Sumter Beast caravans. Uh, but at least I still have Jet. Okay, oh, that's a bit far. Okay, let's go by foot anyway. <laughs> Time to go! Time to go! <laughs> Feeling lucky today! And there are mines right outside the, the tribe to be... Friendly. Come on, you coward. <laughs> well. Let's check. Time to go! Mm, just head right, look out, and don't let the sand get in your mouth. Uh, I think everyone needs to worry about that. Keep your mouth shut, work sparingly in your own business. Ah, the third one! Uh, can we see it? Ah, I didn't notice that. The third one. Oh. 
Follow the wind. Moving beneath the sand. What that? Daily, I believe it is a what that? Hmm. Didn't defeat the bonus, did we? Didn't seem that big. Next, you can just keep going into the depths of the canyon. The tunnel leading to the foundations of the eternal oasis should be right there. Uh, Inus, beware the sa of sandstorms. In canyons like this, the wind flung grains sting worse than those flung by the winds on the open sand. Be at ease. I shall protect my master. Let us progress. Well, I'm gonna split now. You guys stay alert and stay safe. Thanks. You too. Azric, you're the one who should be staying safe. Walking through the desert alone at all. Don't get eaten by a Wednot. We didn't defeat the Wednot. <laughs> Time to go. Same grease. Oops. Oh, damage records too. Oh, great goddess, goddess of flowers. Please heed the cries of the pain and carry our souls to the eternal oasis. Yeah. Oh, no. Was there a far one over here? Oh. Ah, hang on, there are two here. Wind strike! It's a tent camp. It even has a trash markings. Is it different from the others? My trash baby must have sent someone here ahead of us. Oh, what's this? Someone appears to be less attuned to the traditions they so claim to practice that they like. Is there something wrong with the campsite? Uh, what's wrong with the campsite? I must not see anything here. She dispatched people to comb this area before our arrival. However, I perceive that they never made it out. Perhaps it is because of such that this place was marked as forbidden. Which means that this area was forbidden for matters of practicality and not the hour's rod of superstition. As for why she sent people here with regular, with regularity prior, it could not just be just to say the desire of young jet here. More camps lie ahead. I would warrant. Go we'll ask my first baby about this once we get back. For now, we keep moving. Yes. 
Shadow. Darkness one. We were ordered to find the path to the eternal oasis, and it seems that we finally we're finally seeing some results. But this is a per perilous place. The investigation team has taken serious losses, and our material transportation lines have been cut by storms. We have run out of food, perhaps we can capture some nearby weather to feed ourselves. The hunting part we have sent was lost to the sandstorm. We cannot risk sending any more people out. Uh, ran out of water, bled our sumter beasts, scouts are still searching for a way back. We can only leave our fates to the sleeping mistress of the oasis, if she exists at all. There's a mechanism here, let's go check it out. Time to go. Wait, what's this? Though I really don't want to act without thinking things are through, I had the feeling that if we want to continue, we need to activate this thing. But what if it's dangerous? This is a water pumping mechanism. It used to attune to the flow and vectors of water. Uh, so now water's place in its pipe has been usurped by sand. Uh, as surely as you are with this, this once was a lush garden in a time when the flowing springs had yet to become fleeting and rarish among the saints. Enough talk, I think I may be yet able to spark function back into this mechanism. Allow me to try, my master. Sure sounds like this place is familiar to little part. Uh, let's just let her give it a go. Listen, you hear that? Feels like something's trembling deeper in the tunnels. I'm open. So I believe I know the direction. Everything from the store was behind it. Regular myself here, just a handsome bar. I can sense it. So I'm off the gradient. So I'm not really sure I have used it so far. something. Look there, those tunnels, I'm thinking of connecting them and clearing the accumulated sand. I think that might open a path for us. Uh, reckless thought, born of ignorance. It's still the plane's worth a try. <laughs> You're getting on my nerves, Jeannie. Uh, it is my acknowledgement you are receiving, little one. Aren't you the little one here? And Jet's young and Elop are small, so the way Pam sees it, they're both little ones. 
But the logic saying that you are both young and small that makes you the little of all. Uh, what? You don't bring Pamela into your spamos. Uh, you know, spamos not little, right? Uh, how adorable. Okay. Come on, I don't shatter. Just for the missions. Nice. Who says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering? a smile to my face. Let's go. I follow the wind. Wind strategy. Fallen leaves. Adorn my let it rain. The night is cold. Wind strike. Peppa head lies beneath the sand. Oh, oh, it's been buried. I think years for us to just for us future to get out. But not, let us set about for mechanisms nearby that might help drain the sand. Sure, let's go. Time to go. Come 
One with wind and cloud. No one escapes my sight. Magic left. Don't be scared. Oh. Time to go. Oh. Also, I need a check to do that. Wind Strider! The night is cold! Fallen leaves adorn my. What's this? Stars shine for me. Wind strike. a smile to my face. Wind Strider! Time to go! As one with wind and cloud. What? Cool. Mine to connect. Oh. 
Time to go. Time to go. As a shard of light merges with a little part smash model, you feel a little of your own power being pulled away. Through the genius entrance eyes, he has eyes, you see a rage shepherd boy along with a dancing maiden. Her presence resplendent like a limp gem beneath the moon's gaze. Festering hatred and saves your senses before optimizing into primal burning love in a sudden instant. Such love cannot be contained by the vessel of a mortal. It is an emotion that can swallow one whole. Then, mortal, what desire of yours can I make manifest? You lose your right, instrument. No problem like that, you're okay. Or not, my master remains escaped. Sorry, I was out of it for a moment. It was a memory, someone else's memory. I don't. What are you saying? Apologies, I did not mean to let you behold a moment of so shameful. Uh, didn't she say before that they don't feel shame? But as you might understand, I have reclaimed a portion of my memories. Now I may guard you better. Mm, the light inside the bottle really does look more sprinkly too. No, does it? Yeah, it looks just like the light I saw when my first baby was emerging from Azarik's tank. What? Huh? Let's change subjects. What? The light? Across the sands, there is still much of me that lies scattered. If you find it within yourself to offer me this generosity, my master, I will be beyond grateful should you collect my fragments and return me to wholeness. In areas around a genie's fragment, a spot of green should flourish. This is because we gene always have really always release energy around us to create an environment conductive to our slumber. I hope you shall bear this in mind. Oh, we will. Shouldn't we leave a trail of greenery when we walk around the beach? You have my thanks. Paimon will help too. Paimon's eyesight is second to none. Don't worry about it. Uh, I am invigorated. Come, let us dwell deeper. Let's go. How many do I have to fight? Ah, okay, he has wings, it didn't happen before. Engine in the magic bottle, little part 2. For as you gain a portion of her energy, you can use limited amounts of her genie's mind to clear certain obstacles that block her master's way. Ah, by using her genie's mind, little part can remove small and large atmospheric vortexes. I didn't find anyone in so far. However, little part will lose Genie's mind when she encounters violent attacks. The various ancient ruins within the desert of Hadramun Mavet have Genie's shrines in them. Drawn near them, you know, draw near to the Genie branches within them to restore Genie's mind for little part. Okay, so I guess it's half like the clearances and half like that lamp we're carrying in the chasm. This scenery is wonderful. Surely enough to convince anyone to become a wanderer. I 
See you. Wind Strider, as one with wind and cloud. Don't be scared. The night. Uh, uh, my guiding star. Uh. Go, go, Baron Bunny. Bet you can't keep up with. Me. No escape. What? That's the hardest. Here is the gun. Wind Strider. Uh, uh, that's against the rules. The night is cold. Stars shine bright. Clouds high. The birds come. Forest high. Get it. nothing. Offering. Yeah. Oh. Even the stylish and text stone tablets upon which. A negative pretty comprehensible text has been described. For the large star, this is soon as it is. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, there's beneath that. Uh, I can't. What I carry? What is this place full of water too? Uh, what is this place? Your mechanism was built to sustain a dream of eternity, to supply the oasis, forever and always. It was once propelled by water, but is now driven only by sand. King Dashrat left this, his glass goblet here, at the center of this place. The tales speak of him, bidding farewell to joy and leaving his cup behind here as a receptacle to contain past traumas and memories. And those traumas and memories protected the eternal sleep of my mistress, the Lord of Flowers. Was that something that happened in your time? Uh, I suppose, but the details elude my recollection. What with my memories being as scattered as they are? Then we need to go down there and activate that glass. Patience, see how there is still two points of entry. Perhaps there are more mechanisms that we need to disable. Uh, pretty have faith in my intuition, dear master. Uh, so, how are we going to go get full down? Uh, looks like all we can do is head back to the surface and find another path. Ginny, uh, can you find another way leading to the other two tunnel entrances? And they're not claiming to be sane, for certain. With loose confidence, I believe so. Alright, good. Then we best get back to the surface and start plotting a new path. Any objections? What do you think, Master? Return to the surface, let's go back for. Uh, I need to look around more. I want to jump down there. Your word, my will, my Master. Okay. Time to go. The night is cold. Okay. There's an invisible wall. Uh. Okay. So. Will they send me back here? Uh. through more doors and we are done with this quest if there isn't too much more talk we could do that today yeah. uh, the air sounds crisp what difference is there this is still as dry and hot as before you are a desert dweller of course you don't get it Hey, little wall cat. Uh, over here, if this isn't a coincidence. Answer, uh, what are you doing here? Um, exploring and scouting, same as always. What? Is running into another explorer in the desert strange you? It is a little suspect, actually. A bit too suspect. Well, I think you know what we're here. Running into sane and scorpions is normal. Running into the same person all the time is one coincidence too many for Paimon. That's the first time we run into him. The other times we intentionally met him. Alright, come over and have some food, drinks, some water. You will almost be tired. Mm, you got any plans after this? You wanna come with us? Come with you? You found a path? Don't tell. Of course. Uh, never mind that for now. The sky is dimming. Uh, we should rest. The path will be. We still be there tomorrow. Uh, you're right about that. Speaking of which, little part, I'm curious, but never got to ask. Why do you hate me, my first Babel, so much? 
Yeah, other than illness, you've been mean to everyone, especially my church people. Every word you say is always so harsh. What of it? Does it please you that I taunt your tribe mother so? Of course it does, but I want to know why. Why you ask? Uh, let me tell you a story, child. The cold of the desert nights bear a half to chill a murmurs of secret whispers over the midnight tunes best beneath the silvery fang of a crescent moon. With a low voice, the genie breathes life into a tale from an angel of the past. Once a genie and a mortal king found themselves entwined in love, and from their union came children. But as time flowed, the mortal could not break the chains of power and ambition that clung to him, betraying the love of the genie. Hence, on the path of revenge, she twisted the fates of her children, writing them in a plot to unmake their father and kingdom. And in time, in time sailed ever onward, the children of the genie grew to become king and queen yet fell to the same schemes, to the same curse, until their kingdom was finally shattered upon reaching Calamity's end. Such an ending then was that which the genie had orchestrated from the very beginning. Uh, so, that was a scary story, a horrifying even. But what does this have to do with my question? The genie in the story it's not unlike Babel, is she? Where they differ, however, is the shame and quests for renown that so compel your kind. Babel wears them like a mask, though she too is a creature of deceit. I taste it wafting from her very being. To her, be it son or daughter, all children are but instruments for her schemes. If you were absent, my master, I fear I might even be quite fond of her. But today things are different. She threatens your safety. And so affability is beyond my sphere of virtues. No, my church Babel isn't that kind of person. Uh, it has spent more time with her and must have taken orders from her. Orders that left the left hand must never learn of. Perhaps those sordid affairs were just too inconvenient for you to face or consider. But you know your follies. And uh, stupidity does not rank amongst them. Consider these matters yourself. It's fine, Jess. Don't take this stuff so seriously. It's not like she's that much nicer to me or anything. And should I? To you, who are little more than a slave? My words have run dry. Apologies, then, if I have upset you. Uh, maybe we just haven't been together that long. The looper was pretty mean to judge before, but she seems much nicer now. So, maybe if everyone knew more about each other, we could have a few less misunderstandings and stuff like that. Yeah, let's talk about something else instead. Sure. What's the matter, Jet? You're looking real distracted right now. Nothing. Just continue. Speaking of which, what have you all discovered? Tell me. I'm curious. Well, I don't really know how to describe it to you. There are countless ancient pipes leading into the temple inside the mountain, and the legendary goblet of Awamar is there too. So, the thing was more than just a legend. And he really exists. What are you talking about? Is that goblet valuable or something? Uh, that is not the actual goblet. It's just a mechanism holding the eternal oasis in stasis. Uh, so, it's worth nothing at all. Now I'm most depressed. Yeah, so that's what we've been seeing so far. Then the eternal oasis was never far from us at all. 
yet that always told me that he would one day enter the eternal oasis and find mom again. Never thought I'd be helping him make his dream come true. Shabra will be proud of you. I imagine you're looking for to this too, chat. Of course, that's because I'm with you guys. That was said that the saints are like her home. I didn't get it at the time, but now I think I'm beginning to understand. Home is imperfect. Sometimes it's downright frustrating, domineering, or even cruel. But you know you belong there. You treasure its atmosphere and fear that it might leave you. You do anything to stop anyone from trying to tear it apart and seek care and companionship from its existence. It took living in Dad's protection to learn that this is what home is. I know that Dad will never abandon me and that he never lied, but people... He did lie. It wasn't like part of the, that plot that he lied to her about his past. Uh, but people have to grow up and find new homes for themselves. To me, the tennis might just be that home. Find a new place to belong to is great, and I'm almost sure Jabra will be happy for you. Whatever the case, I have you to thank, Mr. Paimon. Thanks for coming on this way to accompany me on this adventure. And you know, putting up with my willfulness. Ever since I lost Dad, I only feel that I only feel this free when I'm with you. Uh, being able to adventure with you again has been great for us too. Uh, what about me? Cold and alone, abandoned by the fire. I stop it. You're my family too. You really showed me how things were done when I first came to the tribe. Uh, this little wild cat was terrified when she first arrives, let me tell you. Her face was like a doll. She wouldn't cry, wouldn't talk, but after spending some time messing about with me, she slowly opened up. Oh, so Chad has moments of silence too, Paimon never thought that was possible. Stop what happened, Paimon, don't listen to him, you too, I was quiet. Uh, indeed, she didn't complain when she fell, and she didn't cry when she was hurt. Her calmness was frankly terrifying, but her rage, when it comes, crash, is like a thunder. What are you saying? Do you want a beating? Anyway, though Jet is young, she is far more mature than most her age. It's frankly a relief. Alright, alright, you're full of it. I practically died of embarrassment when I first joined the tent. The time after Dad was gone was like a haze. Anyway, I thought I would never be able to feel normal normally again. Uh, it was all thanks to Azur guiding me, teaching me how things worked in the tribe like a big brother that I could recover. It's been slow going. That's how it was, no need to be modest. Yeah, Dad also said he was going to tell me more stories about Mom, but now I'm never going to get a chance to learn who she was. He said she was a beauty, that she was a character with countless virtues like all stars high above the wasteland all stars high above the wasteland all nightingales worry from the day it's time to take off the crown of roses cleanse yourself with wine made from grapes that's the only memory I have left of her that always used to sing me this old nursery rhyme that was lovely Stop it, you know I'm always out of tune. You sing better than Jabal did. This is the song Jabal to sing. Uh, I knew you remember. I uh, spent a lot of time practicing this one. Couldn't get it down with that when was still with us. After Dad left, I finding my pitch just got that much harder. But I still learned pretty good, didn't I? Yeah, that sounded good, just why it might be a little raspy, but it finds a soft melody like this. And just like Jabra. Yeah. 
Alright, you should get some rest. We have lots to do tomorrow. I will stand watch that. Sleep, close your eyes. The eternal oasis welcomes the lonely wanderer. Lay upon the pure and flowing streams. From here, memories are forever sweet and pure. Hey, thumbs up. Uh, got something to show you. Follow me. What's the hurry? Wasn't she the one? Uh, on guard? Uh, what's with the secrecy? Can you just talk, show us here? Oh, that? <laughs> oh, we didn't even see this. This is it. Oh, it's huge. Hmm, this kind of scrap can be dug up everywhere in the desert. Why did you ask us to come here specifically? Are we gonna play a war inside or something? Be patient, little wildcat. This wall's interior is in perfect condition. We can activate it and use it to cross those dangerous quicksand field areas. Can we? Mm. A tribesman who knows the inner workings of a machinery, an eye opener to be sure. Azar, how do you know how to activate it? Uh, the blueprints Adarth left behind recorded the mechanical structure of this thing. It wasn't difficult to understand the structure with some basic knowledge that I have. Maybe those northerners from the snowy lanes gave it to him in a trade. Who knows what he would have wanted this for, so. Come on, I'm here to help. Linus, you are a knowledgeable sort. You must have seen this sort of machine before, right? I've seen one in the forest before. Oh, I should have two options. I've seen. I shot with the one in the desert. Uh, you mean the giant arrow mountain? And we even studied it with our Econ and Jazari, didn't we? Or wasn't that optional? I don't think that was part of the main quest. Like this one. Uh, I've seen similar machines in the desert before as well. But this is the first time I've seen one that's this intact. That was said that these are war machines left over from uh, 500 years ago. I can't help but wonder what actually happened in that era. But this big guy seems a little different from the ones we saw before. Uh, interesting. Let's just go through its arm first, shall we? Mm. 
I'm not sure if you can hear that. Oh no, no, it's a thing. Birds. Can you smell how it's comforting? You can smell from the bottom. It's not a very nice Correct, the generator room should be down there. We need to activate the power system first before we can activate this big guy. In the search for we will get it after confirming that the energy system has been activated, let's all head to the control cabin. Those actions quite suspicious situation. It's incredible to think that such a giant thing can even move. What's the matter, Agnes? According to the blueprint, the generator room should, should be right down there. This is where it's in system first. I'll leave that to you. them down there. in here. The guy's down there. Uh, let me see. Inner system looks fine. Engine fine. Weapons long range. Sub weapon is out of order. The main one isn't functioning normally. Made of weapons on left arm working. Uh, it all looks pretty good to be honest. Oh, so know so much about that. Hey, Chad, what's wrong? Look like something's on your mind. No, it's nothing. It's just that I didn't even get half what he said just now. Azarek feels like a different person. I've never seen him like this before. Well, I've become more reliable, haven't I? Oh, 
autopilot, autopilot, uh, looks like it means main loads. Can't find the device at all. Sorry, it seems that we'll have to operate this big guy by ourselves. You mean I have to, don't you? No. Where are we heading? For well, now, my master, I shall guide you from the side. Oh, so you know the way? Of course I do. I can sense the vibrations of my fragments after all. Well, guess we'll be troubling you to show us the way then. Let's start this machine in the meantime, shall we? Then yourselves. Activate. Alright, alright. Let's set the target coordinates. Activated. Where to? Didn't he just say that the. Ah, it is walking. Because he just said the weapons aren't working. I thought he was going to shoot. Check the condition of the machines too. We are stopped. What happened? Don't panic. The operation is what? Does not time for me. Here, it's not open. It's probably still in those. We've moved. Well, because it's not going off. Let's try to see. Come on, stop talking. If only a Darcy was here, he's a traitor to the tribe. But he was also the only one who could figure out how this thing works. Please allow me some time to focus here. A Darcy did leave those blueprints behind. I just need to recall what those illustrations look like. The dark are so massive, the amount of energy consumed must be absurd. Could it be a protective interruption? I don't know, I didn't have time to read everything you said before. Hey, that could be still... How do you know this kind of stuff anyway? There should be a backup power source for the weapon system on each side of the control cabin. The imitations they made all had this structure, so perhaps this old one will be no exception either. They who stay. You are interested in your own fragments. And just interested in eternal oasis. Never mind who they are for now, would you? Fair enough. I shall again ask you again later. Sorry, Josh. I know I'm being a bit impatient. You have fragments over there. Triggers and your system be graduated. Matter. Can't find a backup power system. They should be somewhere on either side of the control cabin. Once you find one of the mechanisms triggered, the their system should reactivate. I certainly hope that the blueprint and earth left behind is reliable enough. Yeah, now it's looking like we're gonna be back Time to go. this guy. Um, but do I take Still there. Time to go. Hmm. 
It's the other. Think a lot when he's working. Oh, here. What if I just look anywhere else? It doesn't matter. I thought I would walk around the desert a bit with it. Oh, did anyone fall oh, and hurt themselves? Alright. Uh, almost broke my hand. Oh, I guess none of us were hurt then. We can enter that opening through the passage inside the arm now. Uh, we should leave some people here to stand guard while the rest of us move on. Wait, don't you care about the taboo anymore? Yeah, I care more about your safety. Oh, we did move. It was here. There's a problem to form, so belong to the mistress, I should tell it deep slumber, to receive it's a pretty bad switch. Must be a very deep escape points. Smile to my face. Time to go. The Maystone Slate is the resting place of the goddess of flowers. None but the priests and those with good cause shall enter. The waterways within Mount Damavant are highly complicated, 
and there are a great number of complex valves and pumps within, all of which are necessary to provide water to the oasis and sustain the lives of the people. All priests must therefore maintain them on time. There is no room for carelessness. Mm, the gate here is closed, and there seems to be no other way. Uh, there may be clues to open the gate around here. Let's occupy the field. Push. Didn't step on anything. Not yet, what about you? I found anything. Not really, but I think we just need to move along the walls as we search. Uh, about Zarek? What about him? Well, I know you have doubts about him, but he's my trust people's most trusted subordinate. So it does no good to be being suspicious all the time. That said, he does know a li little too much, which makes me uneasy. But that's just a good feeling, no? Uh, but your intuition can be quite accurate sometimes. There should be a mechanism around here that can help open the gate. Let us all keep our eyes peeled. You sure are knowledgeable, Azuric. It's completely normal. Like I said, I have many friends on the outside and I've learned a lot from them. Don't you underestimate us tribes people, alright? I found anything. Uh, if I were you, I'd start from those pipelines. After all, that's the one thing with no sorts of shock. Time to go. A fateful offering. Clouds high. The birds. Stars shine from. More high. Up my guiding star. Wind strider. No escape. Come, 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 come
Time to go. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Hmm. Well, inspections in recent years have shown that the archive of Paridesa, whose water output has been decreasing, while the other oases are showing signs of shrinkage. Uh, Lady Paridis grows ever weaker, and she no longer actively responds to our calls. Perhaps this is an issue of aging machinery. If that is so, then there must be some solution. In that short, it is the sole source of all wisdom here. We must continue to pray and continue reading the ancient texts and diagrams. Machinery with chain fragments implanted in their outer casing are far more efficient than traditional irrigation equipment. And that technology has come to be widely used in water supply regulation. Engineering point of note, do the chin also age with the passing of years? Time to go! Okay, I'm moving on. If I can punch me, just go ahead. Time to go. Looks like we'll need to open the gate up, ne up there next. As per our previous experience, the pipelines here will probably have to be connected to let the quicksand drive the gate. But the mechanisms next to the pipe seems completely broken. Then we can only see if there's any way to connect the pipes in other places. Uh, pipes are supposed to connect with the two sides, right? If the mechanism that controls the gate is on one side, then the other side. Oh, burn things, it should lead to the room over there. Alright, let's go and see what's in there first. There's a floating thing here. Uh, Okay. <laughs> 
Time to go. As one with wind and cloud. Don't be scared. Wind strike. Time to go. The lower ranks priests often complain that the water pipes contain Saint Saint Mage. This is a problem that has never occurred before. To clean the pipes, Pani Va had its water supply disrupted for half a day, which greatly distressed Lady Farages. So was supposed that several centuries of unmoving duty would do that to anyone, if not worse. The priestess have made their her estimation of the water supply system's lifespan. She says that it will cease functioning in 300 years. However, it will only take years for the Oasis kind of system as it is today to become inoperable. Uh, maintenance must be our utmost priority. Lady Farigis has rejected the suggested large scale maintenance on account of the disturbance it might bring to the sanctuary of the goddess of flowers tomb. She's the great genie whom King Deshert himself charged with guardianship over the orchard of Pyridaeus. Without her permission, the plane could only be shelved, but she has suggested that some of her power can be diverted to cleanse the waterways. This will place great strain upon her. Even more so than is already the case in her role as the Muslim state. <laughs> Time to go. Brings a smile to my face. That's you, first item. So far, chess piece. Let's see the type of girl about. It's supposed to use a more very main to carry up to that. Ah, good thing to promote that. But a chess piece. Oh, a different one or not. 
we got a fortress on the border. I didn't want to say that on the one. Don't so even know where. Is it for a safe place? Or someone with main press left waters. As the channel emerges in the parts of the you feel a little of your own power being pulled away. Through the jeans and tracing eyes, you see the Reverend Shepherd boy in bright eyes, bro. In a bright red pomegranate. And you see the pomegranate juice flowing freely, like the wine of tarrants, the infatuation of lovers, and the fresh blood of innocent victims. You see the plump pomegranate being handed back to the shepherd boy. Take a bite and use it to quench your thirst, but be careful not to let it burst in your hands. Means are you okay? Suddenly froze up again, and you wouldn't respond to anyone, you really scare us there. Not fret, he's fine. Or just just a lot for a bit. Okay, stop scaring us like that, though. My apologies if my troubled memories bothered you, but thanks to your help, my power has been restored, partly, in any case. Pomegranates. Oh, pomegranates. The sweet fruit made from the congealed blood of the victimized. Should I have the chance to share it with you, my master? I surely will. How I desire to see the plump arrows burst between your teeth and how the rich juice overflows from your lips. Uh, that does sound delicious, but Paimon doesn't think she's talking about fruit. Uh, we should go. Uh, there's too many mechanisms waiting for us ahead. No, no, little girl. Are you soaking again? I'm not. I just said we should go. Careful, the little wild cat's about to bite.
Das ist voll. Follow the wind. You guys show up, I think you're our enemies. Time to go. Fallen leaves adorn my night. Wind strider. It looks just as bad as before. Alright, now it looks like there's only one passage left for swapping. And there's more final legs that are already sorted. You don't walk. Uh, and you know this because you walk on your own two feet. Uh, no, I must just uh, speak for Ains, yeah. I must be tired, right? Not really. Uh, Ains is a better adventure after all. You better exercise more, or you'll leave you behind sooner or later. And no way, Ains will definitely wait for Pyma, no matter what. Uh, my memory is gradually coming together. I can now guide you to the next location. Uh, but I think there's two. I'm going to shoot you. Are we leaving now? We will guys stay here. Please be careful. We will wait for here. Just will explore some more. Go back. The surface. Alright, let's go. We will return to surface with Stazard and Jet. Steps to the cave would be with the big iron balls to work. 
it's over a uh, hundred years old now. I doubt we can rely on it much longer, so we must act quickly. I shall lead the way. Our path gets smoother the further we proceed. It should seem you would see. All right, come, on, folks, into the pilot cabin. I have to go all the way to the radio. Potentially the cockpit of the jet machine if as we can chat. Friends are reset now, but yeah. The whole path. You should be the master place of carriage. Of carriage. Yes. No. Take me some red rocks, bring them some rocks, no more power. Exist main guys to work, push the lower from the box. You don't know what you have tried. Okay. Turn the panel on, should do the job. Uh, because I already do it. Wouldn't it be nice if I stole out the front from the window? Why do you keep taking me out of that view? Is that hole over there? What? Regrets. It wasn't that high. Again, he died. What's wrong, Azuri? Feeling one? Well, we can take a break if you're tired. No, I'm good. Real good, in fact. Chat, we need to talk. Uh, is it something important? Before that, Ines, I have a favor to ask of you. What is it? Would you hand the mother of the gene over into my keeping? Hmm? Well, aren't you a hasty lad? Far too hasty for your own good. Hmm. Azarik, you're like an elder brother to me, and I respect your guidance, but I don't understand. What's going on? Please tell me. I'm doing this for the tenant. We're getting close to our destination, and it is for the best that we take care of the mother of the gene rather than leave her in an outsider's hand. Is this a request from my church paper? It is the rational choice. If she knew this, she would give us her consent. That wasn't the question. I'm asking you, is this a request from my church paper? As I said, I do this for the tenants. The mother of the gene will be an invaluable asset in our hands. While in the hands of this outsider, she is nothing but a toy, a trinket. Think about it. If we possess her power, we'll be able to recreate verdant oases in the desert again. Hasn't it been Matrash Babel's pursuit in soul time? Once you find this finish this quest, Matrash Babel will recognize your contributions by appointing you as her successor. And your Australian friend will also be rewarded accordingly. Everyone wins here. You, me, and of course your friend. You'd agree with me too, wouldn't you, Oslander? I wouldn't be so sure. I respect the Lopar's decision. I don't know, if to him, it, what does it really do? Yeah, although uh, she looks like a bot right now, you shouldn't ask for her 
I should have asked it for her consent first. And well said. But allow me to remind you, the contract between my master and I can only be broken by death. You're right, my apologies. This is nonsense. I said that this is nonsense, and you're full of it, traitor. You insult me for filthy lies, and I demand the right to respond with my blades. Oh, just a second there, little wildcat. We're just having a friendly conversation. Why do you suddenly go berserk? Uh, haven't we always been like family to each other? Family, perhaps, and perhaps not. First, you plot murder against our guests and taint our hospitality without my church babel's permission. This is an act of betrayal. Second, you've learned technology from the northerners, but you've refused to share the knowledge with the tribe. That is against our code. And third, you deceive your fellow tribes people and place them in peril. You're right, you know. I've always tried to view you as my brother, but what about you? You have forgotten your mother's name. Thus, I demand that you cleanse your defilement with your weapons. Wait, calm down, calm down. Look, we are in the middle of the desert. If you kill me now, who will be able to prove your innocence? Oh, so our little one can has finally bear her fangs against her tribe, huh? That's what everyone will say. You will be seen as a traitor. Will someone who has betrayed their own tribe ever be accepted in the desert again? So what? The only reason I've let you live till now is that you never did us any harm. But now, the reason too is gone. I suggest you calm yourself down. We can still talk. There's no need to research your violence. I ain't calm. Pick up your blade. I didn't expect things to go this far. I can only hope you will forgive me. Okay. Uh, and I'm dead. No one escapes my sight. Uh, let me. Oh, here. Oh, I never came from here. That. Discuss me. I'm not asking for your forgiveness. Just hear me out. Last words, huh? Make it quick. You you let me down, Jet. I thought you would understand. I reckon we could work together. You struggle outside to make a living too. We're so alike. You care about the tent. And you've always been loyal, you no? Know? Please reconsider. Think about it. Imagine what the eternal oasis will bring us, an infinite fu future, fertile fields and endless opportunities. Future children will no longer have to beg for food from the city in the rainforest, nor will they, have, will they need to learn the killer's trade. They will no longer have to rely on some strong man just to live with some dignity. Think about it, Chet. Babo is no worthier than us to rule the tent. Think, Judge, think. You're a smart girl. You would have done the same for the tent. Are you finished? Go. If you spare my life, I can get my friends on the outside to spare yours, too. Uh. Or what? Are you willing to be the first member of our tribe who slaughters your own? 
I hope you have given thought to the fate of traitors. They will have fish return alive. Traitor. What? Come on. There was no time to read that. Are you alright? Yeah, that's a nice question. No? I want to throw up, actually. Oh, he broke down. I lost my Megas Orange. Uh, I understand if you wish to mourn for your fellow tribesmen or something, but I am obliged to tell you that this big thing will not hold up for much longer. Why is going to explode? My master, for your own safety, we should leave as soon as possible. Yes, let's go. Ooh. No. Oh, that was horrible. Are you alright, Jesus? Let's get out of here as soon as we can. Who knows if this big guy might explode again. I feel a little dizzy, but don't worry. I still recognize you. My where it hurts, but my legs still work. Uh, I'm still joking. Huh? Alright, alright. Let's get out of here. I'm still here as well. My bottle remains intact. What happens if this bottle bre breaks? Would it be free? Or would it be... Would he die? This purse. Uh, Jeff Pymos worry about you, honestly. Aren't you okay there? Just got a few more scratches, nothing much. Alright, let us move on. A safe place, this is not. <laughs> okay, let's just... Oh, let me check the map here. Uh, he created this crater. I didn't really check here before. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just talk to these guys here. Probably kill them. And then I guess I'm stuck. These people, why are they here? Oh, sorry, if you've been waiting for me. <laughs> you shameless traitor, you dare show up here? Explain yourself. And there. Oh, I was under the impression that he wasn't actually the traitor. Maybe he was set up. Uh, wait, please calm down. I am calm. You just mentioned Azeric, didn't you? I've already dealt with that filthy creature. And I wouldn't mind having a repeat performance with you. I thought I saw him as your brother. Brother, my foot. A new trader had better take stock of your situation. Each word you say could be your last. I... he... wait, I'm really confused right now. Just give me a second to organize my thoughts, please. Organize your thoughts? Of what? Of teaming up with the Batui? And you guys? You're with him, aren't you? Uh, it's a long story, if you would. Shut it. I'm so sick and tired of having to be reasonable with the bad guys. I don't care what you have to say. My blades all have lots of things to say to you. Wait. Okay. I thought we were gonna get some more. Oh, Wind strike! Let it rain! Or Fallen leaves, adorn my night! Stars, shine for me! Magic attack! You can't run! What's this? Draw time! The birds? No one escapes my sight! Not now. Finally, some quiet. 
Uh, since I dropped something, let's check it out. Uh, gotta find out if you have to <laughs> you? Uh, that makes it like something normal. Hmm, I need to wipe my blades. <laughs> Let me keep watch. Hmm, a secret letter, letter to Adersi. To Adersi? If it's a secret letter, you, you shouldn't need to write names of people. Uh, if you see this letter, make haste to the designated coordinates to meet me. Do not forget to bring our contacts from the north. I should have read us of that mud and blown outsider by then. Ensure that the northerners endorse Jet as our tribe's matriarch. For my part, I shall do all I can to convince her to marry me. Since Mabel treats that traitor's daughter as the apple of her eye, and even wants her to inherit the tribe, let her taste the bitter fruit she has sown. Uh, once that happens, I shall revoke all the crimes that Babel has laid on your person, pave the way for your next investment. I won't pursue the matter of your cooperation with the Northerners, just as Babel once secretly ordered, you will be our tribe's proxy for trade with them. Okay, so, she dealt with them once before, and now she's against it. I pledge not to rob or make secret moves against outsiders who have potential in matters of trade with us. Remember to make all haste. You must arrive before Babel discovers that we have been working together. He was working with Azarik. But the villain is obviously for trade to be found. Uh, Spiral. Hey, that's not the point. Azarik, so he wanted to murder my church Babel, then become the co-leader of the Tenet with me by marriage, and then make us all puppets for the Northerners. And that's why he had to take you, who might already know what was going on out of the picture, and gain control over the genie. From the very beginning, he had assumed that I would trust him absolutely and go along with his scheme. I trust him so much too. I never, I never imagined he was such a disgusting person. All right, revenge has been had, uh, and the drama comes to a close. Don't roll, please. And uh, who has had the last laugh? Oh my, it's our little jet. Uh, this is exhausting. Shall we proceed? Matrash Babel needs to know about this. Returning now just to give her a report. Oh, I wouldn't call that wisdom. It's not like we have teleports in this world, you know? Uh, do you really think that desert woman would believe that these two stuffed men, and not you, are the traitors if you return empty-handed? For the sake of argument, let's assume you have proof of their betrayal. But we have a letter. But knowing that you... Knowing what you do of the desert dwellers' traditions, do you think your tribe will focus on the evidence and, and not pay a single slice of attention to the fact that you kill your tribesmen? Uh, from what they were saying, she has killed many traitors before. Will Matrash Babel have eyes only for the proof and forgive this shame caused by your brutal slaughter? I, for one, think she'd much rather hear some good, good news. If you wish to return to rest for a moment, you can. But speak nothing of what transpired here. That's my advice. Agreed. Uh, you shouldn't argue at all. There sure is a new one. Lupar's analysis on point. Uh, if you didn't have more important things to do, I would have cut their heads off and taken them back with me. Well then, let's move on. Alright, I will watch her back. Speaking of which, where are we going? The big iron ball is totally broken, and there are no clear paths around. Or are we not, little one? Do you still have me? Well, there's this hole over there that the big ball, big iron ball created as it fell. We should be able to reach our destination if we go through it. 
Uh, so you can say stuff like that too? Well, you're better than Compass. Maybe Paimon should call you Lilopas from now on. As I said, my friend Ling guides me. Let us go. Enter that big arm ball and we should find a path from there. Yeah, but I think that would be it's true. Probably not as much as I had today, but I think there'll be at least an hour or more to complete this, including cutscenes and stuff. So I'll stop here. Oh I got some. Yeah. Now what I'm gonna watch.